All right, so we're back with the only game where every 24-hour challenge ends in death. It's The Sims 4. The Claire Danes loves putting family is- Is Florida Man like sniffing her hair? The Claire Danes loves putting family is back. Well, most of them. I think two or three of them died of cocaine overdoses. But most of them are back. And they're all much older now. They are hanging out amongst all of these treadmills. Because today, we will find out exactly who could last the longest before dying Ooh. while running on a treadmill. Now, there's a few things here for this particular test. First off, I have made all of The Sims different body types. Two people are horrifically malnourished. Those are Bill Cosplay and I Forgot My Pants, who still doesn't have any pants. Two who are completely average. That would be Jimmy Scrotesburg and Claire Danes loves putting herself. Claire Danes also looks really depressed. She may also just be depressed because this dude is severely creeping on her. Two people who are freakishly buff. That would of course be Tim Horton because he's wearing plaid and it gives you an extra plus 10 strength. And I don't feel so good. Who managed to live all the way to the end of our last test and has somehow become incredibly thick. And then we have our exceedingly overweight individuals here. Florida man himself minus his bandolier of Bud Light and Jamie Thighmaster. All right, so the plan here is I'm gonna have all of these people running on this treadmill and see what order they die in. Now, sometimes Sims don't want to exercise anymore, but I've gone through the trouble of making every single person here married to one another with jeans. So this is like a weird, <laughs> orgerific thing going on, but the reason it's there is so that if they stop exercising, I may be able to at least woohoo them to death. I don't want them to have any respite. My money is always on Florida Man because we all know that he has slain countless pelicans, but quite frankly, he's in such bad shape that I don't think he's going to survive. If anyone looks like they're about to starve to death or something, I will let them eat, but for the most part, I have a feeling everyone here is gonna die before they get hungry. All right, we're setting this up in order by body size. I like how Florida man's over here is rage-fueled run. I think what happened was, remember how I said I made every Sim married? I think that two other Sims that weren't him had sex behind his back, so technically they both cheated on him, but it happened like while I was setting up the scene and I didn't pause it. God, I can't go two minutes without Sims trying to have sex with one another. It must have been Claire Danes. She's unsatisfied from mediocre woo hoo <laughs> Uh, we haven't even started the episode and the woohooing is already mediocre. It's good. God damn it, I just wanted everyone to cool off and stop being pissed off so you could all run in sequence and instead someone's already set on fire. What the hell, man? Wait, can you please put her out, Bill Cosplay? Thank you very much. Okay, so like everyone caught each other cheating last night. I just tried to get through one night so that everyone would be ready to run for the day and everyone is pissed off. Like half of my people here are pissed off. This is probably my own fault for making- What the hell are you wearing? Oh, Florida man, it's perfect. <laughs> now for extra torture, there's multiple plates of delicious hot dogs just sitting over here on the counter, but none of you can eat. Start running, you bastards. It's beautiful. Everyone's running in sequence. Florida man almost got his giblets taken out on the frickin' <laughs> front of the, <laughs> the treadmill here. What are you doing? Get your ass back on there. This is unbelievable. Jimmy Scrotesburg is already dangerously tired. He's been running for like six minutes. And he's one of my averagely built people too. I like how I don't feel so good. Hasn't even washed off. I forgot my pants second to get off the treadmill. All right, Claire Danes is third. How come our two heaviest people are still have no problem continuing to run? Tim Horton, I swear to God, if you get off this thing next, you're out of the family. Florida man's off, okay. Claire Danes is back on. Where are you going, Florida man? You think you take a shower on my dime? Get the hell back on that freaking treadmill. Are you wearing earrings or are those earbuds? Oh, whatever. Oh! Claire Danes loves pudding is dying from overexhaustion. She's the first one to go, the matron of the entire house. Also, <laughs> okay. There's a few things I have to mention here. First off, this is kind of an amazing shot. <laughs> right here. But secondly, in the background, this Florida man is naked, taking a bath. Oh, Bye, Claire Danes. You were loved for like all 45 minutes that you were running. All right, some of the Sims are too smart. I can't make them work out, so I may just make them have sex. Hey, Death, can we, can we move this along? I've got a challenge here to complete with these people. Can you go ahead and 
Reaper soul and I can kick her freaking tombstone to the curb. Seriously, how many tears do you need? Okay, thank you, Jesus. Hold on, Bill Cosplay. Pick up that damn urn. Damn. Death comes in, takes one of my Sims, and takes one of my hot dogs too. I'd like to take a moment while we look at our participants here to engage in a dialogue involving their various wear that they utilize when working out. It is so appropriate that Florida man has a frigging palm tree on his half t-shirt. <laughs> It's like he's got the sun on his watch as well. I couldn't have planned this any better. Florida Man is the people of Walmart embodiment of Florida Man. I like how Jamie Thighmaster with her friggin' llama has to have protection while running on the treadmill. Only, only the right side of her needs protection though. She only utilizes one glove for this exercise. All right, Florida Man, watch your ass over here. Tim Horton's coming by. If you didn't know, the law of beards. The smaller beard must always yield the right of way to the larger beard. <laughs> Something else I'm enjoying doing now, it's like a little bit of a mini game. Since all of the Sims are all married to one another, I have them flirt with each other, which in turn causes all of the Sims to get angry at one another because they're all cheating on each other simultaneously. It's a weird paradox considering they chose this lifestyle. Well, I mean, I, I guess I chose the lifestyle for them, but they're choosing to accept it instead of dying. Florida man, I'd like to take this opportunity to remind you that you smell like burning rectum and there's no reason for this. There's plenty of working bathrooms in this freaking mansion. Listen, there's a bunch of Sims trying to sleep. Could you please cry somewhere else? Yes, cry inside of the wardrobe. <laughs> you can hear the echoed cries of sadness. This isn't gonna get you out of running, by the way. Glad to see someone's frigging cleaning up. You get those plates, Grandma Thickerella. Jamie, I really need you to run. What is this crap about loss in the family from losing a spouse? Is that Claire Danes? Even I've forgotten about her already. What do you know, Bill Cosplay was caught cheating. You are looking way too happy to be running. I think this means it's time for another go. Tim Horton just hit on Bill Cosplay's girl and then walked away with a plate of friggin' hot dogs. Now that's savage. I would like to mention that I had absolutely nothing to do with the setup. The Sims did this on their own. For some reason, Florida Man is dropping an engine block in the toilet while Bill Cosplay is sitting here staring at him and a rotten hot dog lays at the feet of Florida Man. Why? Why has this occurred? All right, we got a trio back on the treadmills. Now, this may not be too big of a deal um, because Florida Man is a vegan now in his later lifestyle. Bud Light is technically vegan, so he can still drink that. God, a day and a half later, she's finally washing the ashes of her failure off of her body. Oh, don't worry. You'll probably be last to die because you're in good shape. All right, I got all kinds of workout going back on over here. The rest of the people are just crying inside of the house. L like, everyone is so sad. I don't even know what from. Oh, yeah. because someone died. They deserved it, you guys know. All right, it's working pretty good. Everyone's working out hard. She's still taking a friggin' bath. Bill Cosplay's blood sugar is so low, he passed out on the floor. Oh, what the hell? I don't feel so good. One of my most athletic sims here, even though her breasts are kind of like, you know, almost to her belly button, is now going to die. How the hell has Florida Man outlived you? You could tell there was a moment there where she was like, I should have stayed in the friggin' bathtub. Hey, we got someone that reached fitness level two. It's Florida Man. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> no, I forgot my pants. She just got off to like go to the bathroom. She's going down as well. That leaves us with five. All right, Tim Horton, you can do this. Do not die on me. If both of my athletic people die, I'll be, I'll be just, so, well, actually, I won't be sad at all because like I said, my favorite right now is Florida Man. And as far as it's concerned, he's still alive. I gotta walk his happy ass back up to the freaking treadmill because he tried to get away. These Sims better appreciate that the only time that they get a break is when one of their kind dies. All right, yeah, it's enough mourning. Everyone back on the freaking treadmills. No! Why, God, how unfair are you to take such a wonderful young man from our craziness? Florida man, you did me so proud. 
You even wore the Florida shirt all the way up until oh, your inevitable oh. demise. He's like, my only regret is not being able to bang everyone in the house. All right, I'm gonna let everyone sleep for a night because we're, we're down to only four left and I want them all to have an even shake. I want to take a moment just to mention real quick. This is the most depressing pool party I've ever seen. Not a single person here is having a good time. Tim Horton is like 75 years old and ripped, and his eyes are still filled with tears. You gotta wonder if these treadmills now have like bad superstitions around certain ones. Like Sims look at the fourth one and they're like, uh-uh, two people died on that treadmill. As the sun rises and a new day of torture is upon my Sims, I went ahead and bought eight judgmental statues to watch them all as they run themselves to death. All right, everyone's awake and well-fed, which means it's time to die. This is it, the last four. Don't they look absolutely thrilled to be here? I can't tell if he's had enough of this shit or if he's high or what. You got Jamie over here practicing shiatsu or something. Are they trying to do like self-defense against the statues? Hey, this is like a friggin' math test, no talking. Okay, I think I found a way for even more efficiency here. If I can get two people flirting while they're running in front of Tim Horton, it'll make him even more angry like that. And then he'll do the angry run. And that is the best kind of run because that usually brings you closer to death. Oh yeah, look at the renewed energy Tim Horton has now that he's ultra pissed. This guy is thinking about boxing gloves because he's like, Jesus, I'd like to punch Gray in the chicklets so hard. What? It sounds like someone's dying. It's Jamie. I knew it was coming. That right there is the face that knows. <laughs> Maybe if you take a couple of deep breaths. Oh. Nope, time to die. Oh, hey everyone, Bill Cosplay has identified the minnow. That moment when you have to forcibly cancel out everyone's emotional connections to each other to ensure that they continue running. Death is like, how many Sims has Gray killed this week? This book is getting really thick. Poor guy's probably getting carpal tunnel syndrome from all the paperwork he has to do back at the office. Okay, Jimmy is dangerously tired. That means he could die at any moment. Bill Cosplay is also dangerously tired. Okay, so every single person here is dangerously tired. That means at any moment, all three of them or any one of them could spontaneously have their heart stab them in the eyes. Who will be the first to go? We've got super thin, super buff, and right in the middle. Tim, I swear to God, you better get back on that goddamn- No! The buffest of all! Tim Horton, not even his plaid could protect him. Well, this is interesting. This is it, the final two. Jimmy Scrodesburg goes down and the winner, Bill Cosplay. He didn't have any body, he didn't have any meat on his body left to- Where the hell did he go? Bill? Bill, where'd you go, Bill? Did Bill Cosplay just disappear into the nether realm? What the hell happened? What, did he go to prison? Well, Bill Cosplay is the winner, but he vanished into thin air. So I guess I don't have to give him his prize. Once again, this seems like a completely appropriate image for the true nature of The Sims. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Sims 4. <laughs> Until next time, stay foxy, much love.